The income and profits shown by various BBC Group entities are not commensurate with the scale of their operations in India, according to an official statement on Friday, a day after the income tax authorities ended a three-day long survey against the British media organisation. The Central Board of Direct Taxes issued a statement without naming the media organisation and said that IT teams unearthed crucial evidences by way of statement of employees, digital proof and documents. The survey was launched on February 14 at BBC offices in Delhi and Mumbai and it ended after about 60 hours on Thursday night. Putting an end to the tussle over voting by the nominated members in Delhi mayor polls, that the Supreme Court on Friday said the nominated members cannot vote in the mayoral election. A bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud and Justices P.S. Narsimha and J.B. Pardiwala directed that the election of the Delhi mayor shall be conducted at the first MCD meet and once elected, the mayor shall preside over the deputy mayor's election. Meanwhile, reacting to SC verdict, Delhi CM Irvin Kejriwal said, the ruling proves how LG, BJP were passing illegal, unconstitutional orders. The Supreme Court on Friday refused to accept in a sealed cover the centre's suggestion on a proposed panel of experts for strengthening regulatory measures for the stock market observing that it wants to maintain full transparency in the interests of investors, a bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur and Justices P.S. Narsimha and J.B. Pardiwala said it would rather not accept the centre's suggestion in a sealed cover. The Ministry of External Affairs announced the introduction of the M Passport Police app on Friday to streamline the police verification process for passport issuance. The Delhi Police Special Branch received 350 mobile tablets on Thursday that enable a paperless verification process and report submission, reducing verification time from 15 to 5 days. The Regional Passport Office Delhi highlighted its commitment to efficient service delivery and Digital India on Friday through a tweet that discussed the app's benefits. Actor Swara Bhaskar and Samajwadi Party's Fahad Ahmad are all set to spend a lifetime together. Sonam Kapoor, one of Swara's best friends, was among other celebrities who attended their intimate engagement ceremony in Mumbai. Swara's Tanu Weds Manu, Kosta Kangana Ranawat took to Twitter on Friday to wish her and Fahad. She said they both look happy and blessed. Swara has shared photos of herself and Fahad as they signed the court documents and exchanged garlands. She tweeted that the Special Marriage Act at least exists and gives love a chance. Reacting to her tweet, Kangana wrote that marriages happen in the heart's rest, all are formalities.